A week from tonight, the Timberwolves will unveil their new logo, all part of a rebranding process that includes new uniforms and a refurbished Target Center. Tonight, we meet the team that has put together the Wolves' new look. As we go through that understand phase with this project, one of the things that we do, and we're trying to discover even beyond what, what the team may tell us whenever they say, we want to hire you for this reason. We need to dig in and really understand some of the things that are behind that reasoning that are they're really the drivers of why this identity redevelopment is necessary. And So as we go through that research and that understand phase and we ask all of these questions, and we try to put that back and boil that down to some very core reasons that we see rise to the top. What we discovered in Minnesota, we kind of came down to three points. The first point of the why behind this, this identity redevelopment is this thing we call no more Minnesota nice guy. As we understood what this idea of being Minnesota nice is and what it means, what we found among the fan base with the Timberwolves is people ready to kind of shed that for a little bit and there's this aggressiveness and this angst to get out there and do something that's a little bit of uh, an antithesis of what it means to be Minnesota nice, but that tension was there to live that out, and that was a big aspect of this project. Number two is something we called a rugged but beautiful landscape. This can be a very hard place, the cold, the, the outdoor, the nature, but it's also one of the most beautiful places in the world. And not only does that apply to the natural landscape that we discovered there in Minnesota, but also the cityscape. While it can be tough, it's also exceptionally beautiful. That also speaks a little bit to the pride of place that people happen. It could be a hard place to get involved in and to build relationships, but if you love that place and you love the people and what it represents, then they love you back. It can be a beautiful place to be. And then the third point is this thing we call the lone wolf maturing. So within the life and dynamic of the pack, there's a phase where the lone wolf goes out and he's, he's creating something new and he's having to carve out new territory and he's having to be a little more aggressive and fight a little harder to build his pack and to carve out his territory. But the desire is not to stay a lone wolf, not to stay young and aggressive all the time. It's to build this solid base. And the team has been going through that kind of effort and, and getting to this place where that aggressiveness is coming out, but it's also maturing around this young player base. It's maturing around the reestablishment of the territory and the fan base of the team. And so a lot of those traits that define that lone wolf characteristic they're maturing and solidifying for what the future of the Minnesota Timberwolves looks like. Join us on Fox Sports North next Tuesday, April 11th, for the logo unveiling. It's at halftime of Fan Appreciation Night as the Timberwolves take on the Oklahoma City Thunder. Every fan in attendance that night will receive a commemorative T-shirt with a new logo. 